a lot of styrofoam, a lot of, a lot of cigarette butts. Um, it's actually illegal to smoke on our beaches, and yet cigarette butts is the top thing we're finding out there. The reason is not because we have a lot of people breaking the law. That might happen. But about 20% of what we find out here is from maritime use, so people out there having picnics or parties, out there surfing or on boats. But most of it, most of our trash comes through our streets from something called the storm drain system. So through these catch basins, anything left out on our streets, that trash can travel straight to our oceans. And this can definitely have an impact not only on us, but on the awesome animals out there. So one of the ways that this trash can hurt animals is um, entanglement. These animals get caught in this trash. So here we have a fish caught in a six pack ring. And we find it happens with many different species. So something really easy to do with your six pack rings, just make sure you cut each ring before you dispose of it. It's a fantastic way that you can help. Um, we also have a sea turtle here who's eating a plastic bag. It's not because they like them, right? Um, sea turtles, actually, their favorite food to eat are sea jellies. And the way that these plastic bags float in the water, they really do look like sea jellies to them. To give you guys some numbers, every person on average uses 550 of these single-use plastic bags every single year. That's a huge, huge impact. We find them on our streets, on our freeways. Our entire Los Angeles River is just filled with them. And they make their way out into our oceans where they're herding animals like our sea turtles. So, a really easy alternative is bringing a reusable bag. We're good, thank you. Something like this, right? Every time we are using our reusable bag, we're helping to cut down on that 550. And places like Whole Foods, which is one of the sponsors, right? Thank you so much. Um, gives you five cents back every time you bring your reusable bag in. So, they pay for themselves, right? So really small, simple behavioral changes that we can make that add up and make a huge, huge difference. What are the problems with our food supply today? The problems with our food supply is, first of all, the genetic modification and industrialization of food, the radiation of food, and the nuclear waste that's in our food. Food is meant to be clean and pure and full of the five elements. Unfortunately, food is no longer that way. Most food is no longer that way. And therefore, we are no longer clean and pure. And that's why our thoughts are of violence and of depression and of anxiety. Because the very consumption of foods that are based on the exploitation of people and for profit making does give us the same energy when we eat it. So the only way to really and truly get back to rejoicing in and also celebrating God's green earth is for us to be very critical and be very mindful about what we eat each day and the process which the food gets to us. So, for example, if a food is genetically modified, one might think it's okay. It's just going to feed more people. Well, Pam Leary and a few other people will be here to explain to you the details of why this is not so. So I'm not going to touch into that. What I want to remind you, though, is if something has been genetically modified, it means it's no longer the way nature created it. It's going against the laws of nature. When we go against the laws of nature, we take ourselves out of nature, and then we start having a lot of repercussions that we begin to wonder, how did I get this way? How did this illness happen? How did the pollution happen? How did all these earthquakes start happening? How did these floods, these fires, why are all these disasters happening? They happen because of us. Because we created it, because we presumed and we pretended we were no longer part of nature and we went outside the laws of nature. We have to stay within the laws of nature because we are part and parcel of nature. Nature is loving, it is kind, and it's replenishing, and it gives back. So we need to be loving and kind and replenishing and give back in our own lives and everything that we do.